We miss these Gen X movie stars who died too soon. Obviously this video doesn't include every Gen X movie star who has passed, but these are some who most defined our generation. We begin with Brandon Lee, who died at just 28, just as his career was taking off. The son of Bruce Lee died of an accidental shooting on the set of his 1994 film The Crow, a tragedy compounded by the fact that his beloved father had died 20 years earlier at only 32. Next is River Phoenix, who was THE Gen X actor for the duration of his short life, growing up on camera and delivering iconic performances in films from Stand By Me, to Running On Empty, to Indiana Jones and The Last Crusade, to My Own Private Idaho. He died of an overdose at the age of just 23. Tupac Shakur's death was a major loss to the worlds of both music and film. Before his death, he delivered impressive performances in films from Juice to Poetic Justice, and seemed poised to become one of the most successful Gen X actors and rappers, a performer who could convey incredible empathy and charisma, both on stage and in front of a camera. He died in a Las Vegas shooting at just 25. One of the most explosively funny SNL stars of the early 90s, Chris Farley was legendary for his ability to commit, happily diving through walls and coffee tables to sell a joke. He teamed up with fellow SNL player David Spade in 1995's Tommy Boy, and a year later, in Black Sheep, solidifying one of the funniest Gen X comic duos. Farley also evoked a chaotic sweetness in films like Wayne's World and his solo starring vehicle, Beverly Hills Ninja. Following in the footsteps of his idol, John Belushi, Farley gave everything to his art, but also developed a drug habit like Belushi's, and like his hero, died of an overdose at 33. Aaliyah Dana Houghton was already a major pop star when she made her feature film debut in Romeo Must Die for which she recorded the slinky hit, Try Again. She had been recording a music video for her song, Rock the Boat in the Bahamas, when she and eight others were killed in a private plane crash, and she died at just 22. Her second and final film, Queen of the Damned, was released the year after her death. In his short life, Heath Ledger proved himself one of the most dazzling Gen X actors, starring in hits including 10 Things I Hate About You, The Patriot, and A Knight's Tale, before earning an Oscar nomination for Best Actor for his role in 2005's Brokeback Mountain. He earned a posthumous Oscar for his role as the Joker in The Dark Knight, released the summer after his accidental overdose death from medications at just 28. Philip Seymour Hoffman was known for astonishing versatility in films including the talented Mr. Ridley, Mission Impossible 3, The Hunger Games franchise, and Capote, for which he won the Best Actor Oscar in 2006. He struggled with heroin addiction in early life and successfully abstained from it for many years before relapsing and died from mixed drug intoxication at 46. His most frequent collaborator was writer-director Paul Thomas Anderson, for whom he appeared in Boogie Nights, Magnolia, Punch Drunk Love, and The Master. Brittany Murphy, the star of Clueless, Girl Interrupted, and 8 Mile, quickly established herself as one of the most likable of the stars of Gen X, moving amiably from romantic comedy to serious drama to horror but always maintaining a big-hearted persona. She died at age 32 of what a coroner determined to be pneumonia. Best known for playing the heroic Brian O'Connor in the Fast and Furious franchise, Paul Walker was a wildly charismatic actor, also praised for his roles in She's All That, Joyride, and Into the Blue. He could do serious drama too, as he proved with 2006's Flags of Our Fathers. Walker died at age 40 of a single vehicle collision as a passenger in a speeding Porsche while driving off from a charity event. Just as shocking was the death of Chadwick Boseman at age 43. In his short life, he had an incredible run of successes, playing icons like Jackie Robinson in 42, James Brown in Get On Up, and Thurgood Marshall. He was, of course, best known for his role as T'Challa in the 2018 blockbuster Black Panther and in three Avengers films. Boseman died from colon cancer, which he concealed as he continued to do excellent work in films like 2020's the Five Bloods. Though best known for TV roles, including Little House on the Prairie, Charmed, and especially Beverly Hills 90210, Shannon Doherty was also an accomplished film actor who appeared in the Gen X classic Heathers and had a lead part in Kevin Smith's 1995 Mallrats. Brenda Walsh, her 90210 character, was one of the most iconic Gen X TV characters, and her on-screen chemistry with Luke Perry made their characters, Brenda and Dylan, one of the most beloved couples in TV history. She died of breast cancer at her home in Malibu at the age of 53. Perry, another Gen X icon gone too soon, died in 2019 at the age of 52.